Happy Sunshine family, Lunacy's back here. It's October 18th, Wednesday. We are about 20 past 10 in the morning Pacific time and I'm just getting up in Tennessee, so a two hour time difference earlier, there's a hearing for Heather and Randy in Knoxville, Tennessee. And I got an interesting, uh, a notable email from Paul Francis McDonald and I've reached out to him. He was the one who had uh, some really interesting comments about the response that the government gave to Heather's Precipe or the, the two assistant <clears throat> district attorneys. So let's uh, transition over here because <clears throat> in this email he clued me in that there were some more recent filings and when I go into the docket uh, wow, we need to back out of that. So when I go into the docket and refresh this, okay, it's not on this docket. Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to pull out the email that he, that he sent because these... These filings are now part of the docket, uh, a rejection without dishonor to the response. And in handwriting, she's got original instrument, duly rejected for cause, without dishonor, lacks due verification and validation of presenters, number one, identification, number two, authorization, number three, endorsement. She signed this on October 13th, 2017. And what this order is, this is Thomas Varlin saying, pursuant to 28 U.S.C. section 636 subsection B, it is hereby ordered that the following motions are referred to the Honorable C. Clifford Shirley Jr., U.S. Magistrate Judge, for his consideration and determination or report and recommendation as may be appropriate. Number one, Defendant Heather Antucci Giraffe, pro se, precipe to enter dismissal with prejudice and declaration of due cause, precipe and declaration of facts, end quote, which the court has docketed as a motion to dismiss the indictment, document 43 and 2, defendant Randall Keith Bean's pro se request to join in co-defendant filing, document 44, it is so ordered. So Heather's rejecting this. This is not a motion. This is Thomas Varlin closing his eyes, putting his hands over his ears, and saying, la, 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 except he's saying, this is a motion, and I'm passing the buck to Judge Clifford Shirley. And it's not. It's a precipe. So it's very interesting that the court refers to the verbatim precipe that Heather has entered into the record, but yet they say, the court has docketed as a motion to dismiss the indictment. So Thomas Varlin doesn't appear to know the difference between a precipe and a motion. I'm not claiming that I am fully up on the difference between the two, but a motion is only applicable if there's jurisdiction is, is what I'm getting. A precipe is a preemptory hey. You need to correct the record here, and you need to do it nunc pro tunc, pretera pretera. Then as now, or now as then, moreover, furthermore. That's how that translates out to. And so this is the this is the same kind of stuff that I would get in an interaction with with my father when I was well looking back on it now the meaning that I assigned to those experiences is that, wow, I was the subject of being gaslit. 
And what they, what my father would do is to change the definitions of the words that I was using and for himself, just like motion and precipe have been swapped here. This is so improper, it feels like to me. So we're going to head on over to the second page here. <clears throat> okay, this is just the certificate of service. All right, now we got another filing here. So this is an original instrument duly rejected without dishonor for due cause lacks due verification and validation of presenter identification, authorization, authority, and endorsement. This was signed October 17th, 2017. So this was signed yesterday, excuse me, yesterday. <clears throat> and this is the response that I, I read through already. This is the Precipe. And now we're getting into some very, this, this document here, I, I may need a little bit of, of leeway in, in decoding it. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this at all. <laughs> this is just amazing. Original instrument. This was filed yesterday, October 17th, 2017 at 259 notice to principal is notice to agent notice to agent is notice to principal this is the original instrument and due notice declaration of statement of assessments reconciliations and settlements credited to original account heather ann tucci giraffe for july 18th 2017 to october 18th 2017 and that feels like <clears throat> the time frame basically since she was indicted all the way up to now assessed reconciled and settled ledgers <clears throat> bank for international settlements federal reserve systems u.s treasury all international and universal equivalents and sub ledgers and journals of agents and principals thereto and thereof Ab initio nunc pro tunc pretera pretera. So on July 25th, 2017, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time through August 29th, 2017, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and September 29th, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to October 18th, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So these are the date ranges, uh, one from Heather's arrest to the detention hearing, <clears throat> and the other one is from Randy's birthday, so when she filed her uh, precipe <clears throat> up until today's date. There are 1,301 hours unauthorized and unlawful seizure, detainment, restriction, and trafficking of duly registered, secured, and notice state of body. She's discounted this rate to 10 billion per second, and I'm guessing that's dollars. The amount here is in quintillions in duly registered, secured, and noticed lawful money of United States. Pre-1933 gold and silver. See commercial bill UCC 2012-114586 and true bill UCC 2012-114776. <clears throat> so this, just for, just for this time frame on count number one, this is, wow, here we've got hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, quadrillion, quintillion, yeah. 
46 quintillion, 836 quadrillion dollars. <clears throat> you know, if each one of these dollars was a grain of sand, I wonder how much sand that would be. This is an astronomical amount that, that I just can't wrap my head around. Counts two through seven were on 726 of 17, the unlawful or the unauthorized and unlawful seizure of duly registered, secured, and noticed identifiers. See records, ledgers, and journals of U.S. Marshal, contractors thereto, and CCB. I'm not sure what CCB is. And in parentheses, DC. Discounted rate, 10 billion per incident. And this is, we've got thousands, uh, millions. So this is $60 billion. For counts 8 through 33, which extend from the range of July 26th through August 9th, the unauthorized and unlawful charges of account Heather Ann Tucci, this is for 330 billion dollars. Let's head on over to page two. So in reference to the identity hearing, 1 colon 17 dash MJ dash 00531 dash DAR for Deborah A. Robinson dash one in all caps, giraffe by U.S. Treasury and the agents thereto. See records, ledgers, and journals of Clerk of Court, District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., CCB, D.C., the DOJ, inclusive of FBI, U.S. Attorneys, U.S. Marshal, and the contractors thereto. U.S. Treasury, discounted rate, $10 billion per incident. I wonder if this is a continuation of what we saw on the last page. Yeah, okay. So that's the three hundred and thirty billion dollars. Uh, that's what. That's what this is about here. So counts thirty four through ninety five, <clears throat> July eighteenth through October eighteenth, uh, and we've got the different case numbers referenced here. Unauthorized and unlawful charges of Heather <clears throat> of account Heather Antucci Giraffe by the U.S. Treasury and the agents thereto. See records, ledgers, and journals of Clerk of Court, Eastern District of Knoxville, Tennessee, DOJ, inclusive of FBI, U.S. Attorneys, U.S. Marshal, and the contractors thereto, U.S. Treasury. Discounted rate, $10 billion per incident. This is for $620 billion dollars. And the total here, 46 quintillion, 836 quadrillion, <clears throat> 1 trillion, 10 billion dollars. I duly verify, validate, and certify that this declaration of statement of assessments, reconciliations, and statements for July 18th, 2017 to October 18th, 2017 and the amounts duly declared, accessed, reconciled, and settled therein is true, accurate, and complete. A facsimile and digital scan of original instrument <clears throat> is duly held legally binding as original. Without prejudice, ab initio, nunc pro tunc, praetera praetera. Signed, without prejudice, Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. Formerly... Is that undisclosed majority principle of the Universal Trust and Bank for International Settlements? Is that undisclosed? I'm not quite sure. And then the certificate of service. Wow, this is big stuff, guys. So yesterday... And, it, and it's filed with the courts yesterday. Heather has sent the courts a bill uh, for punitive damages for violations 
of law in the amount of 46 quintillion 836 billion 1 trillion 10 billion dollars. Wow. Wow. So thank you to Paul Francis McDonald for letting me know that new documents were filed. And you'll remember that Paul Francis McDonald is the one who had the comments on the government's response that I was reading over. Let me find that. Wow, where did that go? IUV blog. Uh, I guess we got to go to the next page. <clears throat> BZ's been busy posting stuff. Here we go. Okay, we see here that Paul Francis McDonald, well, now the PDF's going to load up and push it down. Paul Francis McDonald has been giving some amazing information in these comments here. And I got an email from somebody claiming to be Paul Francis McDonald. I got a phone number, so I've sent them a message. I'm sure that Paul is, is busy today if he is in Tennessee at the courthouse. Um, but yeah, I would sure be down to record a chat with Paul and have a discussion, and maybe that will clear things up in my head. And if it does, I'm sure it would clear it up in everyone else in the Lunacy family's head as well. Okay, well, this is, this is just my first installment for today. I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for all the information coming in. Um, we're, we're well beyond my ability to respond personally to everyone that is, that is sending me <clears throat> comments and emails. Uh, it looks like there are multiple court actions out there that are similar to Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. I get emails from people and they attach their PDFs with paperwork of things that are going on now <clears throat> concurrent with Heather's case. Uh, Heather just is the most popular and well-known example of this information being vectored into the courts and the courts being challenged on their jurisdiction. The same thing is going on by different people. And I just want to say, I'm impressed by your light. I'm impressed by your tenacity and keep on going, stay the path and keep affirming that grace holds you in a pocket of divine protection you have any email for me, any love lighter links, send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E, at protonmail.com. I love you guys a lot. We'll be back really soon. Peace out.